lens flares, hyperbolic lens, fake sun, and crop circles. They're all going to be in this video and they all correlate. I received some amazing pictures from a subscriber, Dee, from California. Thank you so much, Dee, for your patience on having me get these pictures out. I just really wanted to confirm what I was seeing in your pictures that you sent. Uh, many of you may have seen Jeff P's video on the fake sun demo. If you haven't seen it, please watch it. This video will make so much more sense. But in theory, he is exactly correct. In theory, if you're looking from the perspective of Earth and say that there was a device, a spectral device placed between us and the sun, how would planets appear to us if they were coming behind the spectral device? Possibly by using hyperbolic planes and projections that would enhance the view that we would see and make it appear like a sphere. Lens flares created when non-image forming light enters the lens and subsequently hits the camera's film or digital sensor. It usually has a polygonal shape with sides that depend on the shape of the lens diaphragm. Ladies and gentlemen, we're floating in space. These look like lens flares. I mean, that's what I saw when I first started looking at the pictures. But when I looked at some of these lens flares, I thought there's something more to it. I mean, look at this above the sun. Those are shapes. Uh, color was already there in the picture. And I enhanced it to detail it to actually see what that color was shaped around. These aren't flat or transparent. They have depth and contours. I can't help but say it enough. Please look at the textures and the patterns. Not so much the colors, but look at the different textures and patterns that are coming up in so-called lens flares. Now, whether they are a reflection, and so the reflection is actually looking larger than what the actual planet is, or if that's the actual planet, we really don't know because they're not in our physical eyesight unless the sun is reflecting it just right or it's getting light from their sun source, Nemesis. This object number one is behind the tree limbs, behind it, doesn't cover it, just look. And notice where the huge lens flare is now compared to the sun. Do you see why I've been sitting on these pictures for over a month? It really took me a lot to, to look into it. I would take a break and then I'd come back to it, start all over again. Do you see where it says Object 5 and Plasma Tail at the top and the red arrows? Those are pointing to what appears to be a Plasma Tail that circles around with other objects. Just take a really close look at these pictures. Just see the difference in the patterns. I mean, that's not a lens flare. Maybe it's a lens reflection of something we just can't see unless under the right lighting conditions. Plasma is ionized gas consisting of positive ions and free electrons and they more or less have no overall electric charge. Typically, we find it in low pressure, as in like the upper atmosphere, and in fluorescent lamps. 
and at very high temperatures, that's where we find plasma in stars and nuclear fusion reactors. Not only do these pictures show the plasma towel, I started looking through my pictures and I found it. When Dee sent me these pictures, she highlighted different areas that she noticed things and asked me if I could take a closer look. different looking planets. Notice that the huge lens flare is now moving behind the sun. Notice that the lens flare is behind the tree. Referring to Jeff P's video on the fake sun demo, during his demonstration, I noticed that what looked like red petal lens flares, which we are seeing on webcams around the world, not only webcams, D also captured it. Look at these. Are these red petal lens flares a result of using some artificial spectral device in front of our sun? And this is how we pick it up. Using hyperbolically shaped mirrors and lenses, you can correct the geometric distortion. Four days later, using the same Nikon camera, but now in Weaverville, California.
Here's a short video clip just to help explain the upcoming crop circles. I'm sure many of you are aware that the Fibonacci spiral or the golden ratio is found in all of life forms. It is also found in the flower of life, which is the pattern of all creation. flower of life and within the flower of life there is the fruit of life and within the fruit of life we have Metatron's cube it holds within it the seed of life and within the Metatron's cube five platonic solids that basically are the fundamental parts that we need to have earth, life, the existence that we know. This crop circle of the fruit of life appeared on June 4th. It also holds the same geometry as the hyperbolic plane and projection. The next crop circle appears to be the Metatron's cube. However, when you look closely at it, you see that there is a part that's just not right. It looks like a triangle is out of position. And I thought if that was in 3D, it would be kind of off at an angle, kind of shortened. So I looked up truncated and it brought me to crystallography, which when you look at it at the bottom lower left, it is shortened, but it's still equal sides with the angles. That correlation intrigued me, so I looked up a little bit more about crystallography, and it's the arrangement of atoms in crystalline solids. But what really got my attention was that the United Nations declared 2014 the International Year of Crystallography. I quickly searched the International Year of Crystallography, and it brought me to the UNESCO site. And I noticed this project called the Sesame Project. So I looked it up and it is closely affiliated with CERN. So much in fact that the directors of CERN and Sesame signed a protocol which provides for CERN to take the lead in collaboration with Sesame in the construction of the magnets for Sesame's main storage ring. The program of Sesame consists of the installation, operation, maintenance, and upgrading of the synchrotron light source, light beams, spectrometers, and other detectors. Okay, I had to look it up. Synchrotron light source. And it starts talking about the synchrotron radiation that links to Sesame, but it describes the beam lines that are used for synchrotron light sources, which closely resembles the June 17th crop circle. Ironically, CERN is in search of the God particle and the phrase open sesame dates back to meaning God or name of heaven. As a human race, we are being distracted from every direction and on every level. But why? And distracted from what? The answers are and have been right in front of us. We just have to choose to see them. Thank you very much for watching.